Well, this time out, leaving the Gators with two in the game. Brings up a third down and about six yards to go for the first down. And a very, very important call coming up here for the Gators. And really, they feel like they're going to have two shots at picking up the first down. Uh, if they don't make it on third down, they'll, in fact, obviously go for it on fourth down. So they have two plays in which to pick up six yards. They'd rather pick it up immediately. They'd rather score immediately. But they're thinking we got two shots to pick this first down up. McGrady, the lone running back, lining up behind Kyle Morris. Third down and six. Morris is back to throw under some pressure. The ball is tipped and picked off. Glenn Rogers all the way back to the 33-yard oh. line. A penalty marker is down there. He stepped out of bounds back at the 41. The third interception of the afternoon by Memphis State, and this might just have won Memphis State the ball game. Well, there's three minutes to go. The defense uh, can perhaps get the ball back, but an incredibly a big break for Memphis State right there. Plus, they're going to tack on another 15 yards. I think a gainer was pursuing the interceptor and hit him out of bounds, and they're going to add on 15 to it. Mm. Here's another look at the play while they walk off the penalty yardage. Glenn Rogers, number 28, is going to pick the tip ball off right here, and he's Sprinting down the field, he's going to get hit after Morris knocks him out of bounds. Marlon, Marlon Brown, Brown, number, number 53, 53, tips the ball away. And let's see if we see the hit. Kyle Morris hustles over to make the play. First down for Memphis State. The pitch is to Gerald White. White inside the 25, down to the 22-yard line. 2.56 remaining. The clock moving. Pat Moore making the tackle. The Memphis State Tigers trying to pull off their biggest win since Charlie Bailey has been their head coach. I don't know. Now, last year they beat Alabama, and this would probably top it. This I would think it would because it. of Bailey's connection with Florida. I agree. Prior to going to Memphis State. Two and a half minutes to go. Second down and six. White again the ball carrier. Inside the 20. Down to about the 18-yard line. Where it'll be third down. You see Charlie Bailey on the sideline. And it's been on the ground primarily. Where Memphis State has done it. They now have 180 yards on the ground on the afternoon. Third down and two. The fullback prior does not have the first down. He's shy of that by a couple of yards. Trace Armstrong seeing of that. But Memphis State in pretty good shape for a field goal here. John Butler. They really didn't want a field goal, though. They wanted more than that. A field goal will give them 17. The Gators score a touchdown. Florida still wins the game. Butler is connected from 22 yards and from 45 yards this afternoon. A minute 28 is left. This Don't. will be a 35-yard attempt. Can't go to sleep here. They might fake this field goal. You never know. Uh, the three points will, in fact, give them 17. But uh... so the timeout taken with a minute 14 remaining. That's the last timeout left for Memphis State. They let that time tick down as close as they could get before calling the timeout. It's going to leave Florida with a minimum amount of time at best when they get the ball back. Well, it ain't over till it's over, and that's for sure, but uh, they're going to get a shot at the field goal right here. The Florida will, in fact, get the ball back. 14-11, Memphis State leading it. You see Kyle Morris leaving the field now, his left hand. It's like he's got a dislocated finger there, a broken finger. So this could be a somewhat costly game in more ways than one for the Gators. Butler has not missed. We'll see if this is a true attempt or a fake. 
and it comes from 35 yards away. Like the Gators are going to rush 10 men, so they believe it's for real. The Gators coming, but Butler gets it up and puts it through. A 35-yard field goal by John Butler. There is a minute 10 remaining. Memphis State has a six-point lead. The Gators will have one more try. We'll be right back. Thank you. 